Hey guys, Melissa here, other known as Cannabidol from CBD Reviews, back to stump another myth regarding CBD. For those who are new, we created this series, Misinformation Mondays, to help uh, unveil the myths and misconceptions regarding CBD and cannabis in general. With the lack of research and understanding of cannabis due, due to it being outlawed for so long, it can be very, very easy to come across skewed information while educating yourself on the concept of the plant. So we are hoping that this series will help clarify any confusion and help debunk the myths of cannabis. So moving on to our next topic. A myth currently floating around the industry right now is that all CBD oil is vapable. Is this true? Short and sweet? No. In general, CBD oils are concentrated products that can be taken orally, or that are made to be taken orally, which can be either under the tongue, swallowed, or even put it into your edibles and, you know, take it that way. In other words, they are not meant to be smoked or vaped with a vape pen. But this can be confusing because CBD oil is a broadly used term that can technically be used to describe either oil consumption or vaporable consumption. Because just because something is labeled as an oil though, it does not mean it is vapable. So please, please get that straight in your mind if you are confused about that because just because it's called an oil does not mean that it is a vapable oil. The terms CBD tincture and CBD oil are largely interchangeable. They both refer to products that are meant to be taken orally. So just so you know, if you see anything that says vapable tincture, that might be very questionable and I would definitely look into that brand a little bit more and be sure that they are reliable and transparent before you try to vape their tincture because saying that a tincture is vapable just does not make sense. At least into my head, it does not make sense. But some companies still refer their CBD vape products as vape oils. But more appropriate term, and this is for you all brands out there that do have vapable CBD oils out there, the more appropriate term is CBD vape liquid. That way we don't get, you know, the two types mixed up in our heads. Cause it's, again, it's very confusing. So CBD vape liquids are much less viscous. So it's less syrupy, less, thicker, you know, like the texture is a lot more liquidy than um, CBD oils or tinctures that you would use under the tongue or as an oral consumption. If you try to use a sublingual oil in a vape pen, it's probably not going to work and it's going to taste really, really bad. I haven't tried it myself, but I can't imagine it. It probably tastes really bad because it, it's not meant to be vaped. And on top of that, it's risking your health because you're vaping something, you're smoking something, you're inhaling something that wasn't created to be taken in that form. So you're actually putting your health at a risk by trying to smoke something that's not meant to be smoked or vaped, whatever. In short, if you're wanting to try CBD in your vape pen, make sure that you are using a vape specific CBD liquid. Even though the terminology is ambiguous and confusing, there's definitely a difference between CBD oil and CBD vape liquid. So an example of this would be BZBs. So this is a CBD oil that can be used as a CBD oil tincture, like under the tongue or you can put it in your food or whatever. But they also make it very clear on their label and I'm not sure if you guys can read that, it might be backwards. I won't know until the video is over. But it says that this water soluble hemp slash CBD oil is water soluble, vapable, and sublingual. We have created the triple effect oil. So always just make sure that you see that they state that it is okay to vape. Otherwise, just take it under the top or put it in your edibles, whatever. Anything but vape. Also, let me give you a fair word of warning that it, there are some seriously sketchy products out there on the market right now. Let me tell you, there are so many products out there that are super sketchy. There's a lot of brands out there that are very reputable that have been lab tested by other people and other, um, you know, like other reporters and stuff that came back that showed that what they were claiming in their products 
ended up not being true according to those lab reports. So it's like, how do we actually know, you know? So it is very, 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 very essential for you to do your own research on products before you even think of buying them because it could be a waste of your money and it could be a detriment to your health. So you got to put that in the forefront of your mind when you're shopping for CBD. Check out www.cbd.how for more information and research on CBD. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope at least one person learned something new from this video. If there are any other topics that you'd like for us to cover in this series, please send us a message. Thank you so much for all of your support by sharing our posts and information, as well as donating and sponsoring our events. By supporting CBD.how, you are supporting a movement that is bigger than all of us. I am very grateful for every single one of you, and I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful day. Much love and blessings.